write down the equation of the tangent to the curve defined by uh, x is equal to sine theta and y is equal to cos theta at the point 1 over root 2 comma 1 over root 2. So I would like, uh, I would do this in two different ways. First, we'll deal it as a parametric function and then we'll change this into a uh, implicit function. So let us write first what is given. So we've got x is equal to sine theta and uh, y is equal to cos theta. So this is a parametric function uh, defined in terms of theta. So let us differentiate with respect to theta. So I can say d by d theta of x is equal to d by d theta of sine theta. Sine theta. Okay, so d by d theta of x is nothing but dx by d theta is equal to the derivative of sine theta is, is cos theta. And same way, differentiating both sides with respect to theta, d theta by y is equal to d by d theta of cos theta. So this implies dy by d theta is equal to negative sine theta. Okay, so let me change color. So this implies dy by dx is dy by d theta times uh, d theta over dx. So this is nothing but dy by d theta is minus sine theta times this is cos theta over 1. So if you make this uh, d theta over dx, this will become 1 over cos theta. Okay, so this becomes, uh, this implies dy by dx is equal to minus sine theta over cos theta, which is nothing but minus tan theta. Okay, so this color seems to be too difficult to so I'll change color. I'll make it uh, say yellow. So dy dy by dx is minus tan theta, and we want to find the the equation of the tangent at this point, one uh, one over root two, comma one over root two. So in other words, so let us write x is sine theta. So they are giving us x is one over root two which implies sine theta is 1 over root 2. Therefore, I can say theta is sine inverse of 1 over root 2. Now, if you know uh, the, the values of sine and cos, uh, you can do without this a calculator. You should know this is 45 degrees. Okay, or in terms of radians, it is pi by 4. Okay, I'll just, for those who don't <coughs> don't need to remember, it's good if you can remember. Uh, you can go like this. I've set this in radians, sorry, in degrees. So this is my setting. I've set this in degrees. So if you go shift sine bracket 1 divided by shift root 2, that will give you 45. Okay, so in other words, this is in call in Cartesian form in x and y, but here the function is in, uh, defined in, in in terms of theta. So in other words, uh, when x is one over root two, we can say theta is forty five degrees or pi by four. So dy by dx. So let me write dy by dx. We have defined. We have got is minus tan theta which is nothing but minus 10 of 45 degrees or pi. And 10, 45 is 1, so this is negative 1. So the gradient at 1 root 2, comma root 2, or at 45 degrees is negative 1. So, so let me write the equation of the equation of tangent. Equation of tangent.
would be what? The equation of the tangent would be y is equal to minus x plus c using the formula y is equal to mx plus c where m is the gradient this negative one is your m now we know that when x is 1 over root 2 y is also 1 over root 2 so let us substitute this into this equation so i can say 1 over root 2 is equal to minus 1 over root 2 plus c so adding 1 over root 2 on both sides i can say 1 over root 2 plus 1 over root 2 is equal to c this implies c is 2 over root 2 and 2 can be written as root 2 times root 2 over root 2 so what can be cancelled root 2 and root 2 cancels so this gives me this implies c is nothing but root 2 so we can say the equation of the tangent is y is equal to minus 6 plus root 2. Now we have done this in the parametric form, but let us check our answer in a different way. It's a good way to check your answer. So let us change this into x and y form. So what have we got? We have got x is sine theta and y is cos theta. So if you square both sides, can I say x squared is equal to sine squared theta? And if you square both sides here, cos y squared is cos squared theta. So I can say x squared plus y squared is nothing but sine squared theta plus cos squared theta. So I can say x squared plus y squared. What is sine squared theta plus cos squared theta? that's a trig identity that is equal to 1 so this has become a implicit function and if you know this is nothing but equation of a circle this is a circle with center with center 0 0 and a radius of 1 so let us differentiate this implicitly now so d by dx of x squared this is the derivative operator plus d by dx of y squared is equal to d by dx of 1 okay so now what is d by dx of x squared that is 2x now here we have to use the implicit differentiation so let me use green so d by dx of y you can't differentiate y or y squared with respect to x so I'm going to change this as d by dy of y squared because I want to differentiate y squared so that the operator has to be d by dy. Now as I've written d by dy, to get rid of this dy and to get this dx back, I'll write dy by dx. So if you look at it, look at it carefully, you can see this is dy in the denominator and you've got a dy in the numerator so dy and dy gets cancelled and so you've got d by dx of y squared okay so let me bring back my green color and d by dx of one is constant uh, this is one which is constant so that is zero so i now i can write 2x plus d by dy of y squared is 2y times dy by dx is equal to zero so taking away 2x from both sides, I can write 2y times dy by dx is equal to negative 2x. Now dividing both sides by 2y. So if you divide this side by 2y, also divide this side by 2y. Therefore, all this implies this and this gets cancelled. dy by dx is nothing but minus x over y dy by dx is minus x over y. Now, when x is 1 over root 2, y is also 1 over root 2. So, this implies dy by dx is negative 1 over root 2 over 1 over root 2, which is nothing but negative 1. And that's what we got. That's what we got in when we're doing implicit differentiation. So, now the next 
is very simple. So you can say y is equal to minus x plus c. The same process, 1 over root 2 is equal to minus 1 over root 2 plus c. So I'm not going it over again. So this implies c is root 2. So in both ways we got the equation of the tangent is y is equal to minus x plus root 2. Or writing this in a standard form, you can say x plus y minus root 2 is equal to 0 is a different form of writing the same equation.